In previous videos, we set up the design for the Rescue Project, a simple open source device to detect people by the signature from their cell phones. Today, we'll continue this project on by getting the hardware out in the field, giving it some real world tests, doing some more design, some iterations, and have some more fun. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. First things first, for our ground unit we need a new case. So we'll just take the air unit in Fusion 360 and use the parametric functionality and just resize it to suit our breadboard and our existing electronics. This way I can take it out into the field now and get the field testing done, get the electronics proven out, and then we'll make the case a little bit better, a little bit better sizing later on. i3 Mega does a fantastic job printing out a new enclosure for us, no issues. I took our new unit out to the park to test it out, and sure enough, I found what I expected to find. Bugs. The code didn't work as intended. What I did is I caused the code to lock up any time there was a problem with the SD card. Well, that's no good. I want to be able to keep testing even if my SD card isn't working. So, went back home, fixed that up. Very next day, I headed back out to the same spot. There's some tourists down there on the beach. I should be able to use them as targets. Set everything up with the new corrected code and give it a try. Regardless of SD fail, we've got nine clients and counting. Two APs, 12 clients. There's nobody around me. The only people are way down there. And we're counting up. We're up to 16. And they are way down there. That's a very long way. There's nobody in the bush. It works. It works, it works, it works. 22 and counting. Three APs. We got GPS lat long. SD cards being a pain in the butt which is unfortunate because I wanted to capture this. And our GPS is upside down. <laughs> we still got good signal, 22, 24. Now the, the clients can count up uh, because of uh, iPhones swapping Macs, but uh, APs can't. There's four APs, so that means uh, some people got their phone in uh, AP mode or some kind of APs down there. There, there actually might be one at the uh, at the beach station down there. Pretty cool. Pretty crazy now. Ninety-seven. We're gonna break a hundred. Back at home, it's time to lay everything out, solder it up to the proper PCBs and get it into a proper enclosure. I'll have full instructions for this on my GitHub. I'm actually working on the assembly and user manual for this project right now, and it's up over 50 pages already. But you should have detailed ways of putting this together. It should be pretty simple for anyone to do.
I actually purchased a vinyl cutter not that long ago for projects just like this, whereby I can add kind of neat stickers and graphics to the project and just make it look a little bit more professional. All the parts and equipment I use in my projects, you can find linked down in the description below. I've added these to my store as well. In this prototype unit, I'm using the Adafruit PowerBoost 500. Uh, this is a unit that I've had kicking around for quite a while. I'll just plug in a single cell LiPo and it handles everything with USB charging and the ability to have the on off switch here. Pretty cool. It's what I had. You can use anything that you have, such as uh, probably 18650 batteries, I think would be my choice. Lithium ion. Lots of runtime on this with a couple of lithium ion batteries. I really wanted this project to be reproducible anywhere by anyone, so we needed to have a different way of making enclosures other than 3D printing. So I went ahead and designed them in 2D as well to cut out on a laser cutter, or you can cut them out by hand just out of foam board and just tape the boxes together. Regardless, all the files are in, on my GitHub, and this is the design process to making the box. Out to the garage, I fire up the K40 laser cutter and we can go ahead and cut these out of both wood and acrylic if we want.
Overall, I couldn't be happier on how the acrylic has come out of this laser cutter. It was my first time cutting acrylic and I think we did pretty good. Just got the mirroring wrong a couple of times on some of the models, but uh, no issues in the end. Got that corrected and we have a nice water clear case that can be easily shipped or made anywhere little super glue or any compatible glue you have for plastic kicking around and you're all set. Back out to the garage and I was able to cut some cases for the ground unit from plywood as well. This is three millimeter Baltic birch. Turned out pretty good. And back out into the field again for more testing. This is the key to inventing pretty much anything is test, test, test. Test it in different places you'd never do normally. Like here's me on the street just driving around. See how the thing works. <laughs> Stop at the local church and keep on rolling. And back to my overlook over the beach. Lots of tourists still around, so lots of MAC addresses to be had. And sure enough, the system is working exactly as I intended. This time we have no more problems with the SD card. Over a hundred client hits, lots of APs. It's just working wonderful. Latin long locked in, GPS time, everything going to the SD card so we can decode it later. And back to the shop, I decided to go back to the ground unit case and clean it up a little bit with a palm sander. This just gets rid of the little bit of charring on the edges and makes it look really, really nice. That's where we sit right now with Rescue. We have a functional ground unit, functional air unit, multiple different case styles that we can 3D print or laser cut or cut by hand. I'm super excited about this project. If you want to support projects like these, join me on Patreon and become a channel member. All the links are down below. I publish this completely open source for anyone to recreate anywhere. I have kits available on my website and this project is in the finals for the Hackaday Prize. So go over and give it a like if you like this kind of thing. Stay tuned for more projects like this. I have lots of ideas in my head and we just need the time to get them all out, get them on paper and get them built. Cheers guys, good luck in all your projects. Join me on Discord, link down below if you'd like to chat about this or need some help making your own.